Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is Phyllis from the Doll Corner, and today I was working on a little doll quilt, and I thought this is a good opportunity to show you how I make my queen size quilts that I quilt on the machine. I find they're getting just heavy enough to turn and move around. Where I find if I take a section about four feet wide and the length of the quilt, and I make a, my backing, my batting, and put my top, press it all out, and anchor it in some way, whether it's spray glue or whether it's pinning or that's up to you. But when I get this all spread out and all even, I t like to take and start sewing from the center out. And then I do one section, one corner at a time, so it saves me a lot of moving and shifting with it. And then from there, this, this section has all been quilted, quilted, and now I'm going to add my panels on either side to make my quilt large enough. So if this panel was 48 by the length of the quilt, I usually have about an 18 inch piece here, or 18, 24, depending on the size of the quilt and the blocks. I join this together by a quarter inch seam press it, sew it and press it, and then I take my batting and I pin it out of the way for a little bit, and then I take the section of my quilt that I want to add on, and I sew it on here, matching up my quilt blocks. And add another chunk of batting here. This isn't the piece I'm going to use, but that'll. And try to keep this as even, as smooth as possible. And flip this back and sew it. And press it. Sorry. And this is the panel that was quilted. And I only quilted it up, I didn't quilt the last inch going on either side so I had room so I can stand it up and quilt this. So I can bring that up like that to sew it on. So now I've got this all sewn on and pinned ready to start my quilting. So I'll have to start back about here where I finished quilting and sew. And I sew out each way. And it seems to leave a nice, they match up really nice. So then I trim it up and it's so much easier because you can roll this up and you only have your 18 inch, 18 or 2 feet of quilt you're working on here. And I find it just works a lot better for me. So that is my tip for today of how I do it. Um, if you have any questions, Email me at dollfashions, dollfashions77 at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and touch the little bell so that you get a notice when I bring my next video out. Um, thanks for watching and we'll be back. Bye now.